the first record I would like to share is Dance to the Best, uh, Dance to the Best of ESG. I mean, I discovered ESG when I was in my late teens. Um, you know, I kept hearing UFO out, and, it's, and apparently it's one of the most sampled songs of all time. Um, it's, it's brought its own very sparse and very haunting, and uh, I think one of our songs, our first ever single, Shoots Your Own Voices, we were going for that kind of cold, um, spacious groove. The next is Night Clubbing by Grace Jones. Uh, I'm, a big, I'm a big fan of Grace Jones, I always have been. I love the production on this record, it sounds so clear and it always gets me in a good mood this record, always cut by the slits. I really discovered this record properly when I was in my late like, like 18, 19, kind of going to clubs. You know, you, 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 you know, you couldn't, I couldn't go out without hearing um, heard the cover of Heard It Through the Grapevine. You know, there's something about her voice that was like it sounded cool to me. It was so thin sounding. Houses of the Holy by Led Zeppelin. You can really hear the extent of their musicianship with this. I think it's the kind of weird folk aspect that I like to this one more so than four. It's you know you can hear how it's all played on acoustic guitars and you know and he's such a great voice, such a such a wild voice. Um, and the artwork's great too. The next record I'd like to share is Showtime by Dizzy Rascal. I mean, I was a huge Dizzy Rascal fan uh, when The Boy in the Corner came out. I, I liked the fact he was singing about East London, where I was from. I liked his, I liked his delivery. Uh, I liked, uh, he was just a cool, cool guy, you know. I, um, I remember not being disappointed by Showtime. I especially liked Stand Up Tall, that was, one of my, that was my jam at the time. Those first two records really changed, changed a lot for me.